Let's do problems eight and nine. Problem eight is mostly already done from a previous recording that I had to start over. The key thing to observe in this problem is that two is a vertical asymptote of this expression. That is to say, this integral is improper. So we have to um, turn it into a limit. and ask ourselves what happens as k approaches 2. Well, nothing happens here. It's just a constant. As k approaches 2, k minus 2 approaches 0. And the natural log has a vertical asymptote at zero. So as the input approaches zero, the natural log is going to negative infinity. And a finite number plus infinity is infinite. So this integral does not exist or does not converge or however you want to express that. Problem nine is by itself. I mean, it's not paired with anything else. And it's just a U substitution. If you have a fraction, it's never a bad thought to try letting you be the denominator. It won't always work, of course. In fact, frequently it won't. Just because it doesn't work doesn't mean it was a bad thought. Sometimes you try something and it doesn't work. Here it does though. And we wind up. with a natural logarithm. Looking at how the problems are paired up, one and two, three and four, six and seven, it really looks to me like nine was going to be paired up with an arc tangent type integral. You don't, I think, need the trig antiderivatives on this sample test. That doesn't mean that they won't be on the actual test.